Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in my last video that I posted, I talked about the different ways that I make money online and one of the ways was through selling my art and photography through sites like Redbubble and Society6. So through the comments, I saw that you guys were most interested in that type of online income. I know a lot of people were saying that they haven't even heard of it before and that it's something that they'd want to try out or that they want to tell their family members about. That being said, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys how to actually post on those sites and kind of maneuver them if you're a first timer and just wanted to try it out. So for this video in particular, I've decided to focus solely on redbubble.com as it is the one that brings in the most income for me and I think is actually one of the easier ones to use. So I'm going to start off with that and then I might make more videos about the other sites like Society6 or TeePublic. So make sure you guys watch until the very end to see my process from start to finish of how I upload on Redbubble. I'll also be sharing some tips and tricks to make the process faster and easier. But before I get into this tutorial, make sure you guys like this video if you want to see more about online income or passive income streams, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So obviously the first step is to sign up. This part's pretty easy, you just go through the typical sign in process and pick a username. I stuck to my name because, I don't know, I couldn't think of anything better at that time, but definitely feel free to get a little bit more creative with it. Or if your store has a theme, use that theme in the name so people kind of know what they're getting when they come to your store. So first you want to go to redbubble.com obviously and in the top right corner you can see there is a sign up section and a sell your art section so it really doesn't matter which one you sign up with it both leads to the same place but create your account and then you are set to go. Step two is to get your profile set up. You want to make sure that you completely fill out your profile. Any little bio or picture or banner should be there. Just like in YouTube, if you want the algorithm to pick you up, you have to have a fully complete profile and it looks more legit to people that are on your shop and makes them more inclined to buy from you. I've also gotten emails in the past that actually imply that they were more willing to promote my store if I finished my about me or my banner. Um, for the longest time I didn't have an about me section so when I got that email I was like you know what I should probably add it in there because it's only going to help with my sales. I'll just jump into my account and show you guys what I've done with my profile and how you guys can make your profile successful as well. So I've just logged in to show you guys my profile and how it's set up. So they actually recently just changed how it looks and they can still add all that information through your profile. I think it might just take a little bit to show up on the new artist profile, but it's definitely still good to have it in there. So as you can see, I have my little like tagline. That's like just like one line in your bio. I have an about me section and then I have different collections that I organize my prints in depending on what kind of pictures they are. So the next step is to finally post your first picture. I thought that the best way to show you guys this is just a complete walkthrough of me picking my picture to me uploading the picture. So I'll show a screen recording of that and I'll talk you guys through all the different steps and little tips and tricks that you can do to make everything go over smoothly. So now I've selected the picture that I want to upload today and I'm just resizing it so that it fits all of the products perfectly. So for me, from trial and error, I found out that 9000 by 9000 pixels works the best because it fits on everything, even the larger products. And I don't know, I don't want to upload a million different ones with different dimensions because I find that's annoying and it demotivates me to post. So. This is just the easiest way to do it, and I think it's the most efficient as well. So now I'm ready to post it, and I go to Add New Work, which is in the little icon drop down on the top right. So you have two options when you add new work. So upload something from existing work so it copies all of your settings and I do that sometimes if the pictures are very similar to one another and I can reuse a lot of the tags but for this one I'll just go from scratch so I can show you guys how to do it. And as a side note I do edit all of my pictures before in like a, a phone editing app or on Photoshop just to make them pop a little bit and really make them look better obviously than the original. So as you can see the upload is quite quick. A lot of other sites take way too long and I've actually stopped using some sites because it would take like 10 minutes to upload one picture 
and then for some reason it would just disappear and not even upload so I've just given up on those sites and Redbubble is definitely the best for that. So now I'm just thinking of a title. I just really try to embody what's in the picture so that the keywords pick up. I think that's the most important thing in regards to naming your products because Foggy Blue Mountain Views obviously embody what it is, but they're also all very good keywords because they're things that people would search for if they're looking for that type of image. Whereas if you name it something a little bit more creative, I feel like it might sound better, but then it doesn't get you the keywords that you need and people might not find it. So then I just added some tags of things that I thought were relevant and it says that you should add at least 15. So I'm not even sure how many I wrote there. I think it's around that much. And then a quick description of what it is, obviously keeping in mind your keywords. And then you just want to go through all of the products to make sure that they're enabled so I don't know why sometimes some products automatically disable I'm not sure if it's because the print doesn't fit the best on them or what but as you can see they still look fine so I'm just enabling all those now and double checking all of the other ones to make sure they're placed on there properly and the image looks good so as you can see the button image is not the best because you can't really see the trees so I'm going to try to adjust it a little bit so that you can see the trees a little bit more because obviously that's like one of the focal points and I'm just shrinking the picture a little bit to see how much I can get on there without getting a white border so once you do that you can just apply the changes and yeah you can do a lot of different edits within each product but usually the system's pretty good at optimizing how the print actually goes on everything so you don't really need to change too much. So now I'm just going back and making sure everything looks good and you just have to select uh, I guess what type of category that your picture falls under and obviously this helps them filter it and then you can add it to your own collections which I highly recommend making collections because it just helps the algorithm again and then you can save your work. So now this is the final product and what people shopping will get to see. So it's kind of fun to just go through and look at all the different things. And this is where you can grab some of these pictures to post on your social media if you decide to have an account for your Redbubble. Um, I don't have one right now. I used to and I used to take these photos, but I haven't really maintained it in a while. And then finally, I just usually like to be a little active after I post. So I just go and like um, other random pictures of other artists to kind of get my name out there. And also just to, you know, help the system promote you. And my fourth step is just to repeat, repeat, repeat. Make sure you're uploading as many pictures as you can right off the bat. I know for one of the sites that I'm on, it said artists that upload at least 25 pictures at once are more likely to make their first sale within the first month than other artists. So the more you have, the more likely you know people will find you through, through different searches and that will result in a sale. So I'm not sure how many I have, I'll double check and I'll kind of count them out on the screen for you but it's definitely important to stay consistent with it just like any other social media platform and try to add pictures every so often so that your shop stays fresh and people are coming back for new content. So yeah, that was my step-by-step -step tutorial of how to sign up and post your first picture on Redbubble. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy and uploading does go by pretty quickly. I'd love to hear in the comments if any of you guys are going to start a Redbubble account after this. And if you do, let me know, link me to your account. I can maybe help you guys out or audit your shop for you to see what you might need to improve or what you're doing well. And yeah, I'm really excited to see if you guys actually end up starting accounts on these sites because I think it's a great way to make a little additional income on the side. If this video goes over well and you guys want to learn more about Redbubble, I would definitely be interested in filming a video that shows kind of my analytics and back end of the site, so how much I've earned, which designs are most popular, and I can give some more in-depth tips of how to make your shop successful and not just sell one item every couple of months. But I thought for this tutorial I wanted to keep it simple so that you guys just kind of get on the site and start your first post because that's what's most important just starting out. But before I end this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to hear any of ideas you guys want me to do videos on. I'm definitely open to anything, especially if it involves online money and online entrepreneurship. So let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!